Hi everyone, my name is Darren and today we're going to talk about food security. So guys, what do you understand about food security? What do you know about uh, food security? I don't know mate, I just want to go back to sleep. Nothing? Okay, basically, food security is the physical and economical assess to sufficient, safe and nutritious food. But there are things stopping us from achieving food security. Like what? For example, climate changes, the impact of COVID-19, and of course, increasing the population of Malaysia. A poor food security could really lead to poverty, threatening human rights to food, and social protections. So, we should get ourselves prepared for the next generation so that the impact of it wouldn't fall onto them. Let's dive into our topic. The main elements of food security consist of availability, accessibility, utilization, and stability. The challenges are economic limitation of different aspects, rising populations, income disparities, high production costs, and price volatilities. Following on are the geographical constraints of climate variability, and even resource distributions, remote or island communities. The field of aspects we have considered are physics, biology, chemistry, and mathematics. So our solutions to these naughty problems are divided into two major categories of food production and food processing. Let's start with food production technology. So in food production, we use quality breeding, biotech, and automatic farming. And let's start by quality breeding. It is a genetic improvement of crop plants in relation to various qualified quality attributes to diversify food source, increase food quality, in increase food quantity of national food production. In quality breeding, we are using methods of cloning technique, crossbreeding, genetic engineering, mutagenesis technique. For biotech, we split it to green biotech, agriculture, and yellow biotech, food production and nutrition. Firstly, GMO and GM crops are the production of biotech in food. There are examples such as GM rice, salmon, crops, soybeans, tomatoes, and cows. These are the examples of the production of genetically modified food. You can pause to look through. GMF productions can increase crop yields, improve nutritional values, increase resistance to pests, and etc. Biotech holds paramount importance in agriculture and plants in improving the food quality and quantity together with a higher nutritional value for plants. This is how biology is applied into it. Following on will be automated farming with the use of drones which involves the use of chemistry, save time and reduce labour costs. The graph has shown the comparison of labour costs before and after drill. This is a graph of determination of the machine capacity before and after drill, which the TFC, theoretical field capacity (EFC), effective field capacity and FE, field efficiency, have highly increased. And this is the before and after result of drone application on the time taken of spray and total yield manual spray. We have successfully proved this two equation and this is how to implement mathematics into it. Furthermore, we will utilize greenhouses with, with spectacular features as shown to tackle the mentioned challenges. Next, we will start with food processing tech. Firstly, simple food processing techniques such as cooking, fermentation and pasteurization. Moving on is the preservative food processing such as canning, freezing, vacuum packaging and irradiation. Irradiation, food is exposed to ionizing radiation such as gamma ray, ultraviolet ray and x-ray to kill microorganisms in raw meat and insects such as weevils in rice, which spoil the food. The examples of food products processed through irradiation are vegetables, cereal, and fruits. This is regarding the subject of physics. Last but not least, we have grinding machines and liquid filling machines to speed up the processing of manufacturing of foods. Aside from all of that, you can perform R&Ds, land management, education for farmers, and a much optimal use in land and water resources to improve our alternatives. Lastly, we would love to summarize that these food production and food processing technology that we suggest are able to increase quality and quality of food for and crop, reduce wastage, preserve nutritional content, improving food safety, and last but not least, encounter climate changes and the impact of COVID-19 in Malaysia. All in all, that's all for our presentation and feel free to question.